grass seeds spread from here to there. There are five main ways I'm here to share. Seeds that fly, seeds that drop, seeds that swim, and seeds that pop. Creatures also spread the seed after they have had a feed. These are the five ways, the ones I've just said, that pips and pods, seeds and stones, nuts and more are spread. How are seeds spread from here to there? There are five main ways I'm here to share. Seeds that fly, seeds that drop, seeds that swim and seeds that pop. Creatures also spread the seed after they have had a feed. These are the five ways, the ones I've just said, that pips and pods, seeds and stones, nuts and more are spread. I've collected a whole lot of seeds, thanks to George with his jeeps and Abby going to the mountains. And these seeds spread in the five ways that we just talked about in the poem. Now a good activity for kids is to get some boxes and label them how they spread. We can pop, or we can fly, we can swim, or drop, and then get the children to research on how these seeds are spread, and you can classify them into the box. For example, you might get a pine cone, which pop in the heat. Or you might get some of the very furry ones that spread, they fly. Some fall in water and just go downstream and then spread that way. Some seeds can even spread on the boots of people, take them from one place to the other. So this is a very simple activity of how to classify seeds as to the way they are spread. And as you collect the seeds, say the poem, and then when you come home, say the poem again, and put all the seeds in the right boxes. watching.